Hey guys, so today um, I did my usual dinner time jaunt down to uh, Warner shop um, but on the way um, I found a shop called Pullinger's um, I'll give all the details in the in the down below now what I was actually looking for uh, a while back I was in Cambridge and I came across some acrylic inks and I, I asked the lady about them and I said oh are they the same as Games Workshop inks now obviously she'd never come across Games Workshop um, but she said basically I could use them for for painting figures didn't have any money at the time anyway went into Pullinger's today and they the different brand they actually had um, so I actually bought one and I thought I'd give it a try now this is the ink it's called FW and if you bear with me one sec they come from a company called De La Roni um, they're acrylic inks they're water based I've tried watering them down they water down fine and they come in 38 colors which includes lemon yellow process yellow Indian yellow flame orange scarlet um, all the usuals burnt umber antelope brown they even do a white a silver a shimmering blue a shimmering red shimmering gold uh, and crimson so um, now I was chatting to the lady in the shop and I said oh I'm after an agrax earth shade obviously she didn't know what I was on uh, what I was on about now the color we actually got isn't actually the same um, but I bought it for experimentation purposes so this one is actually burnt umber and the first thing I like about it is that it comes with a dropper so obviously that means you can measure out precise amounts or if you prefer you can dip, dip your brush straight into the bottle um, the second thing I noticed is it's I don't know if you can see that but it's extremely thick it's really really um, now there's some symbols on on the side and they look like um, they're just pictures I'll just show them if you can see those there uh, the top one looks like an airbrush second one looks like a, a paintbrush third one down looks like a pen and the bottom one looks like um, those little drawing pens so it's safe to use in an airbrush I've not used it in an airbrush um, all I've ever done with it is painted now although it's not the same color I did a comparison to Agrax Earthshade and the reason I did it was more for consistency and color so I've got some bases that I've, I'm in the process of making and I'll show you a raw one this has got no wash on it at all and what this is it's, um, it's cork PVA glued onto, onto the base, primed in black, then uh, base coated in Mephiston red, and then a quick dry brush of, um, I can never remember the name of the paint, uh, Mournfang Brown. And that's all that is. So with an Agrax Earthweight shade wash, it will come out looking like that. So nothing unusual there. So what I've done with this first base this is the Agrax Earthshade base and this is the Burnt Umber and you can see it's very 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 dark so what I then done is I actually diluted the ink 50-50 and this is what I came up with not too bad now I'm going to struggle to hold these now so, so we've got Agrax Earthshade, we've got Neat, and we've got 50-50 mix. So what I then done was I then diluted down 50-50 again. So that is one quarter uh, burnt umber ink and two, th two, uh, two qu three quarters water. So if I hold them all up as best I can. So there, this is Agrax Earthshade, this is the neat 50-50, 25%. So I actually like that 25%. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this is the Agrax Earthshade, 
and this is the 25% mix of burnt umber it's actually quite similar um, it's to, it, it seems to have served my purpose well so I'm very happy with that so now on to the technicals oh what I also done on a piece of uh, GW palette paper I've actually drawn a big thick line of, of each of the four colors and I've kept it thin on one side and thick on the other so you can see consistencies so what we have there this one is Agrax Earthshade this is pure neat 100% burnt umber this one is 50-50 mix and this is 25% 75% mix uh, with uh, ink and water so you can see actually if we can if we try to compare the end two consistency wise it's actually quite similar so I'm quite happy with that um, now for the costings you might like this now Agrax Earthshade Games Workshop paint is £2.55 for 12 mil pot obviously you can get it cheaper elsewhere <coughs> but that works out at 21.25 pence uh, per milliliter this whole bottle is 29.5 milliliters so that's nearly three times as much and it's three pounds 99 which works out at 13.35 uh, 13.53 pence per milliliter that's approximately two-thirds of the cost of Games Workshop if you were happy with the 50-50 mix which is uh, sorry so for 13.53 pence per milliliter this is what you're gonna get if you were to dilute it 50-50 this is what you'll get for 6.76 pence per liter and if you dilute it further which I hope is do you know what I've put these bases down on the table and I've got them muddled up and I can't actually tell the difference between Agrax Earthshade and um, Burnt Umber so I'm going to hold them both up but if that's what you're after if you're happy with that that's 3.83 pence that's 15% of the cost of Games Workshop now the, c the company that I use it's a lovely little shop on the high street they're called Pullingers I'll hold that there for a moment um, they do actually they told me they do mail order um, in addition they actually do a reward card um, now I bought uh, what did I say this cost three point three pounds nine I think it's three ninety nine or three ninety eight ninety five I actually get ten percent back um, so I went back and I remembered I needed to buy some glue I bought a big old massive Yoohoo and I presented my reward card and she said you've got 38 pence off that if you want so actual fact when you buy this first bottle it's 3.99 the second bottle is three pounds sixty something so um, Dale Roney FW acrylic artist ink um, I don't know my way around the bottle at the moment there we go this particular color is burnt umber um, and as you can see it's airbrush safe paintbrush safe you can write with it and it comes into I'm gonna go very boring now and I'm gonna read the colors out um, my mouse has stopped come on mousey so the list of colors that they do is lemon yellow process yellow Indian yellow flame orange scarlet flame red Process Magenta, Purple Lake, Prussian Blue, Roni Blue, Indigo, Process Cyan, Turquoise, Marine Blue, Sap Green, Olive Green, Emerald Green, Light Green, Flesh Tint, uh, Yellow Ochre, Raw Sienna, Antelope Brown, Red Earth, Burnt Umber, Sepia, Cool Grey, Black, Bracket India, White, Gold, uh, what's gold? Imit, Imit, I M I T, uh, silver, Imit, 
Payne's grey, brilliant yellow, crimson, dark green, shimmering blue, shimmering red, shimmering gold and velvet violet. So my next process, I'm, I'm not going to be, be able to buy the whole range in one go. Um, but what I am going to do is I'm going to buy, I'm actually, because I'm after the Agrax Earthshade, um, I did actually pick this one up because I don't know if you can see it but there's a really nice green tinge through that um, I know there'll be some technical color boffins going yes it's burnt umber that's meant to be like that um, now obviously I, I could use that and I could perhaps mix it with browns and and start mixing your inks um, but I will say it goes a hell of a long way um, I don't know if you can see I daren't tip my palette but in there that was a mix of one part ink four parts water two big um, I used a medium dry brush two big dips scoop and then and that's how much is left there was absolutely tons once you dilute it um, but for me thumbs up for get uh, FW acrylic ink um, let's say it comes with a drop bottle and if you do actually use all of that of course you've now got a, a glass pipette um, so all these people go oh I need pipettes I need pipettes there you go you can buy a pipette now for three pounds ninety nine and you get a free free load of ink with it as well okay this is me signing out goodbye